This arrangement takes me right back to Peru. What's going on? It's Jason Heath and Lloyd Goldstein has put together a wonderful arrangement of El Condor Pasta. It's available in our sheet music store, which you can find through the link below. And let's hear a little bit about Lloyd on this piece and hear him play it. In a sense, it's almost like the Peruvian national anthem. It started out as a, an original piece written, I think, in the 30s by someone named Daniel Alomio Robles. And then Simon Garfunkel in the 60s took this piece and, and made, um, wrote their own lyrics to it and, and made this thing world famous, this piece, which you would recognize. It's the one that says, um, I'd rather be a hammer than a nail if I could. Um, and um, it went back to Peru, circled back to Peru, and now like every Peruvian musician has to, I don't know if they love it or hate it at this point, but they they have to play it. So I listened to a bunch of pieces on uh, a, a number of performances on YouTube, which is of course our modern day um, muse or something, a way to find ideas, you know, uh, which I wish, which didn't ha have when I was uh, a student. And, um, I heard this flute, the one, uh, this beautiful, I don't know if it was a bamboo flute or what it was, but it was a Peruvian flute, this guy standing on the edge of a mountain playing this opening on this flute. And I thought, oh my God, that's fantastic. So I wrote some very high notes at the beginning using some of the harmonics up at the end of the fingerboard and so on to try to emulate this flute. And then um, there's a, thing called a quattro 
uh, it's a it's a little tiny guitar like instrument and they do a stroke like something like this and that gave me the idea for the ricochet section that keeps coming back um, in the uh, in the in the piece over and over again um, as a kind of a rhythmic uh, motor for the thing so it's combining this beautiful melody uh, with this ricochet and back and forth and I Again, it's a it's very simple, very simple tune, but it combines some beautiful um, techniques that we can do and textures, different textures. That's the other thing I'm looking for in sharing music with people is a variety of textures and colors. And this is a nice contrast. Like if I would play Let It Be and maybe follow with this, we have a nice piece with big resonance in the key of A. Now we have this delicate thing. Um, that's um, that's uh, and using completely other textures off the string, you know, so on. So I really enjoy this piece a lot. I remember going to Peru myself, taking students down about 10 years ago and working on some arrangements of this. So wonderful, again, the way that it sits on the bass for Lloyd is, it really brings Lloyd's spirit into the music and it's just absolutely wonderful. So that's quasi Pondicello. <laughs> And I think we get some of this bouncing at the tip rhythmic playing that I just love. So alternating melodic fragments and this bouncing. Moving through different keys, then all of a sudden we get into this big multi crescendo. It's almost like using a guitar pick and getting this sort of effervescent quality, this ringing quality into these nice melodic pieces. Just wonderful.